Yo, yo! friends would walk up to Sorry for the ad Alright, we're gonna do some quick editing See, when I go full screen, it's too big, so you gotta... That's what she said. Anyway... Alright, I don't know if that looks good for y'all, so I gotta, I gotta test it. When heaven's divide, I will see the choices Nuclear weapons disposed of yourself on Shadow of Moses Island. Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces. Then by members of Fox House. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of the I'm not a speedrunner. I anyway, the demands are not met within 24 hours. But I know this game like weapon. the back of my hand. Welcome to the street. You'll have two mission objectives. Yada yada yada. How does it look? Like on your screen. It looks good. Alright. Welcome to the stream. We're playing MGS1. Make sure everything's up and running. I have not played this game since I was a child. We're going from the get. But I beat it so many times that I kind of feel like like I should probably play it on hard, but I'm going to play it on normal just because it's been at least 10 years, maybe 20. Like I haven't played this game in a long, 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 long time, long time, long, long time. Feel free to put stuff in the comments or whatever. I'm going to kick my feet up for this one. I hope y'all don't mind, but... Like, I'm chilling, chilling. You know what I mean? Like, I've beat this so many times already. Stay alert. It'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. That's how much I've played it, I can kind of sound like Snake. Just a little bit, not really. Kept you waiting, huh? Nah, not really. <laughs> Colonel! I've infiltrated the this base. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. 
just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. That's your phone number, got it. I want to use the codec. Holy shit, shit. how am I supposed to call Mero? I don't have the fucking... You. The code uh, beep. Remember, I used to sell out the CD case? And you had to look at the back to call Mero? How the fuck am I supposed to call Mero? I don't have the back. Small bones. But you will be able to hear what are you talking about? Got it. This okay. shit is preposterous. I'm ready to go. <laughs> but back in the day, I was like, what? This motherfucker got a telephone installed in his ear? This was like the sickest shit. Right away, this should let you know the kind of run you're seeing here. There's another ration. I like to look at it. I, it's been a while since I played this. Uh, that's the other ration. I used to play this when I was a kid. Like, this is one of my favorite games. I used to play, like, the demo or whatever. Another one! Is there anybody here? I'll just wait. He can't see me. He's too dumb. He doesn't look down. See? He's dumb! Well, let's see his route. He's sleepies! Oh, shit. Well, alright. I'm gonna be brave. See you later, fucko. Another one! Oh, you fucking assholes. Boom, 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 boom. And now you just wait here. What I like to do here is smoke a cig. They're not gonna see me. And if they do, I'll just come over here. Uh, because I feel like Snake would smoke a cig here. And then I use a ration, right? And now I have, now I can take that one. See what I mean? You don't smell cigarette, you fucker. All right, anyway. Ooh, intense. They're both right there. Oh no. Right, you gotta wait for this motherfucker. Oh shit. Just give it a second. This motherfucker goes straight down, you could just You could just fucking run. Yeah, see. Hasta luego! So I'm going to try to kill as few persons as possible. I think it's like 12. Cause that's the reason I don't like this game and the reason why I haven't played it for y'all. Like if you get on my YouTube channel, you see that I played a bunch of these already. I don't like this one because I have to kill. And I don't like that. Um, but it is the classic and I was watching Boba play it and it made me reminisce and it made me want to play it, so what the hell? I'm a big MGS fan. What can I say? You probably know by now. They killed it, though. They killed the franchise, so that sucks, but what are you going to do? Just that uh, when I was growing up, this was one of the few games I had, and the replay value is just, it's through the roof. As you saw there, the first time it wasn't that stealthy, it wasn't that smooth. But after playing it so many times, and I'm not a speedrunner, like I don't, I don't like the idea of speedrunning games. I'm gonna shut the fuck up because it's a movie. front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. 
How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing Get directions. Snake. Only the genome soldiers <laughs> in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Terrorists. Those damn terrorists. Behind D. A hind D. What's a hind D? What's the Russian doing? gunship yeah, yeah. doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. I want you to think I'm playing on a on joystick, I'm not. I'm playing on my gamepad for this one. I'm not playing on my arcade stick. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Really? Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. She's so I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. This the game has gotten a lot of lag. You, snake. Because the they say her, your enemies, her and voice the blue is cone racist. Their her accent. I, I never thought about Be it. Careful, snake. I just thought she was fucking genome cute. Soldiers have Fair highly enough, developed like senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. So if I do get caught, you know, it's just old age, not playing it for a Snake long time. Radar isn't affected Things by of the that weather, sort. But if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar. So contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm sense. yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. I'll hold you to I'll that. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. <laughs> Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? He pooped them out. Never know. He has shit cigarettes. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. 
I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. God, this game was so good. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Ration. Fuck. Right, well, Snake needs another. Don't smoke cigarettes, they're bad for you. <laughs> I feel like I'm just a fucking walking cigarette ad. Don't smoke cigarettes. Alright. That's a ration over there. There's a guy over there, I don't care. Um, then it goes like that. Is this the one I can go through? Yep. And then I wait here for it to do the thing again, but I don't want to get too close. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one, but I'm gonna wait for it again. That's the one you can't go through. And then that's the one you can. Oh God, oh God, no! All right. Did I save it? Did I save it? <laughs> I'm not with that shit. No, I don't like, I don't like. Where are we starting? Nah, nah, fuck that. Fuck that shit. We're just gonna have to fucking skip all that bullshit. I'm not with that shit. It was the wrong one. I went during the wrong one. I need those chaff grenades for later though. Surprisingly, if you skip all the cutscenes, we'll get there in like a minute. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear? Give yourself a big old stretch of my bobber. Now turn around. Thank you. You gotta wait a bit because you're gonna make noise here. Huh? Yeah, what was that noise? I didn't wait enough, but it doesn't matter because I'm already over here, so. Fuck him. This guy doesn't see you. So. Later, fucker. Did it. Again, here I would normally have a smoke, but we're just trying to get back to where we were, so. Whatevs. I should have saved. That's where I fucked up. I should have saved after. But I was so into it. Oh, 
Oh, so tense. Oh, no. Oh, my God, so intense. Two of them, just wait for them to leave. <clears throat> what always bothered about what always bothered me about that is like, didn't they see the elevator going up? Didn't they hear it? Like you could hear it, but whatever. Skip. Crap, did I break it? No, good. Skip. Yeah, 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 yeah Racist accent. The bright thought in the middle is you, Snake. I think that's a new thing, though. I think they changed Snake it for like, isn't like she doesn't have it in Metal Gear Solid Four anymore. But in this game, it's it's pretty thick. They laid it on pretty thick. Okay, now we're gonna save it, just in case I get caught. We'll restart. What is it, Snake? Remember what the goals? Yeah, 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 yeah. Something about awesome stuff. Yeah, for sure. There's another ration over here where you can't use it. Do not care about the guard. That one's not the right one. I'm actually going to watch them play out here. That one's definitely not the right one. Then there's that one. No, yeah, it's it's right after this one. Okay, I made it. Now, instead of running back, I guess what I could do is take this route. Is there anybody here? No. Cool, because I want to get the SOCOM. Guns in here. I believe one of the guards is gonna walk through in front any second now. Yeah, here he goes. You can like stare at him. You could hear somebody fucking snoring. There's a guard and there's a freaking camera there, which is what makes this part somewhat difficult. Ah, frick. How do I reload? What's up? Don't save. Yeah, I don't remember to call this part. It's been so long. We're resetting again. <laughs> this is how I used to play it too, so it's kind of nice. But this time I have it saved, so we'll start right there. Yeah, my reset button got fucking played out when I was a kid. I can't believe I'm fucking getting caught this early. Upsetting.
four minutes. Read a mission log. No, what the fuck? I just infiltrated. All right. Ready, ready. I think this is the one. I think I can just fucking go. Yep. There's no guards here, so just fucking YOLO into it. Now that I remember. I mean, now that I've already done it. I can't remember if I used to kill this guy or not. I don't think I did. Because I didn't kill anybody. Where is he? Fuck it, I'm YOLOing. You can't see me, camera. A surveillance camera. Shut up, shut up. Go, 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 go. Ugh. Fuck. All right. That's how you do that. Oh God. Later, fucker. All right, there you go. That's how we did it. <laughs> My bad. Like I said, I haven't played this game in forever, but I'm still going to try to do no alerts, as few kills as possible. Because that's how I play Metal Gear. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. I should have done that before the stream started, but better late than never. Yeah, let's give y'all a good look at it. That's the uh, MGS1 art I have on my wall. So far, so good. We had to restart twice. Maybe we could have like a reset, a uh, restart counter. That's twice. That's twice. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. We're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Good old Meryl. I'm going to have to Google what the frequency is to call her because I don't have the case anymore. There's some stuff in there. I don't remember if I need it or not. I think there's a cardboard box somewhere too. Is it this room? This may be the room with the cardboard box. I don't remember. 
I haven't technically used any rations. So I don't need to get that. Press the action button. Blah, blah, blah. Press the action button to drop down. I would go for a smoke right here, but this is now a non-smoking stream. You see how there's like a camera right there? It's not, it doesn't matter. Camera won't see you. Not when you're going down the ladder anyway. I always used to like just running over here right away though. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. For sure, for sure. Let's um let's see. You found out where the DARPA chief is. With his nanomachine transmitter, he should show up as a green dot on your radar when you get close. Try to find him. Alright, so so far, no alerts on this save file. Come on, Snake, you can do it. We're gonna use a shaft now. Does this place have one too? Yeah, so we're going to use another shaft, because there's something in here I want. Thermal goggles, yep, going to need those. May as well peep the routes. I know what you're saying, you're using a lot of shaft grenades, you're correct. But we don't need them for this one. We'll just wait it out for it to look the other way. I did update the graphics a bit. I know it doesn't look like the original MGS, but I don't know, I, I like the way this looks. See you later, fuckers! <laughs> Is this where I'm supposed to be? No. Chief, he's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Gotcha. See how they've got like the line right there? Just follow the fucking line. Yeah. Snake, if you want to go up or down. Yeah, yeah, I fucking know. Everything is that. God damn it. Snake, if you want to go up or. Everything's the action button. I'm aware. I'm aware. Everything is circle, 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 circle. Um, I think you see Mero here. Oh no, it's just oh, some guy with that area. Damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. This is where you see Mero. 
I think. No, no, that's just the bill uh, office or whatever. I don't even know why I went to get those SOCOM bullets. I'm not gonna use them. Like, I don't really get in gunfights and shit in this game. How am I gonna change to the second fucking port? So then after this, you see the DARPA chief, and then you get in that fight. There's a marrow. Is that a woman? Not you. Let's be a fucking creep. Ooh. Oh. Look at her. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's <enough. laughs> Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. Save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Don't believe him, DARPA Chief. He has COVID. It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... could launch a nuke. <sighs> How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. Bitch. We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. Metal Gear. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. Probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Fucking Johnny. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But they found out my password. 
You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's ah, own electrical field. Que viva el pan. Personal el pri, lo que sea. <laughs> it transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. I believe right okay. now Pri is in control I'm of my you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. You're asking too many it has questions. nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Oh shit, it's COVID! Why? Rest in peace to all those we lost. Security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. I used to teabag him. <laughs> No, I don't know why. There's a ration down here. I'm just showing y'all where all the rations are for no reason. I don't even need them. I'm just like, just, just. I used to hump them too. Look, you could. It kind of looks like he's humping them. I spent too much time on this game. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. It was one of the only games I had. It was one of my favorites. Don't move. What are you doing? Shoot me, Rocky. It's too green. <laughs> so you killed the chief, you bastard. Oh, I love it. I can like. Liquid? No, you're not. 
Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. Can oh, you shoot me, rookie? Can you shoot Careful. me, rookie? I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. Snake is the man. One of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What is he doing? Like, I gotta like kill these shit. guys. But I, I don't wanna. So I do this tactic. Damn it, Meryl, shoot him! Ah, oh, crap, I just shot him. I died. Yeah, so as you can see, you have to kill these guys. There's no way around it. So I'm going to save because I forgot to save here. I'm fine with dying once. Stop it, Chief. I just don't want to get oh, caught. Man. He has a heart attack right after you save him. I'm getting a bad feeling about this snake. Maybe you should let me save your mission. I should have saved it before I died, but whatever. Which, again, is why I don't enjoy this Metal Gear Solid. You have to kill these guys. There's, there's no way around it. I've tried it. I'm going to try it again. Just because... Wish I could take this ration with me, but I can't. So, yeah, you got to kill time here. Might as well hump his leg or teabag him or something. This time I'm going to try flipping them. We already saw that. I'm trying to do it without killing them. <laughs> judo throw! 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 Nope! <laughs> it can't be done, guys! It can't be done! I've tested this a bunch of times, even when I was a kid. Got a teabag the current uh, DARPA chief again. Teabag in the DARPA chief. I'm gonna try to choke him this time. Because even though I did this a bunch of times as a kid, and I found that you had to fucking kill them, I can't help it. I don't want to kill them. This is how I play Metal Gear. I try not to... Oh, now he's doing it with his butthole. You're disgusting, Snake. Alright. Hey, okay, open the door. Alright, I'm gonna try choking them now. No, I can't. Right away, just starts judo throwing. You cannot. 
Okay, so just kill me. I mean, I gotta kill them. But... What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! So you have to kill those guys, but now she's shooting, right? Snake, what are you doing? Take care of the bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. We heard that already. So now I'm gonna leave it to her. Judo throw! Shoot them! Shoot them, lady! There you go. You kill them. Kill them, lady! I don't want to kill them, lady. You do it. I'm doing a, a fucking Gandhi run. Come on, lady. Kill them. There you go. Trying to kill as little as possible. There you go. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, I got it. She just takes it to the dome. She doesn't care. Oh, I almost killed one! Judo throw! I want to kill as little as possible, lady. You do it. There you go. Thank you, lady. I'm gonna throw grenades again. Oh no, that's it. All right. So I had to kill those first three. Cause Mero didn't want to fucking kill anybody. So I had to. Thanks for the help. What the fuck? It's all them judo Please. throws. Booty. That's oh, literally Lord. what the game wants you to think too. Later on, Snake's all like, "Oh, I'll never forget that ass." Like he's, that's what he says. <laughs> you fool. You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. She's all happy and shit. She's got that killing adrenaline. Psycho Mantis. Good girl. Just like that. You fucking perv. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. So that was Judo throwing. Totally. Oh, yeah, and then, of course, you know, try to teabag. <laughs> Oh, they took my fucking ration! Assholes. I think there's another one, though. God damn it, I wanted that ration. Did I check the wrong bed? I guess I did because it should be the one with this guy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, give me back my ration. So, so far we've killed three. And we've been spotted once, but it was... I had no choice but to get spotted there. So 
So now what the hell am I supposed to do? I'm gonna save. What's up, Snake? Snake, listen to what Lord Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will we'll always have, have enough. enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. That's some real shit. I think I'm supposed to go fight Revolver also right now. Right? that were submitted over should look slightly different. Look at the walls carefully and... Did you try hitting the wall? Sometimes they'll sound different. Right, right. So since this is now the time that this is supposed to happen, I don't think there's going to be any guards here. They are trap doors, however. So let's try to see if we can find those trap doors just for funsies. Because there is trap doors in this scene. There's one! So you would die if you go through that trap door. You would die. That is a trap door in the video game. There's another one, I think, here. Yeah, there it is. There is trap doors in this video game. There's another one. So I'm just trying to remember where they are for later on when I come through here and there's guards. Because there will be guards. Is this safe? Looks pretty safe to me. Save. Yeah. Because this is where you get the the sniper rifle. Is there a trap door here? No. This is where you get the sniper rifle to fight uh, sniper wolf. And I remember that one has like infrared or whatever the. Well, I already know, but back in the day, for those that don't know, you used to hug the wall and, uh... Yeah, this is one of those where, again, I have no choice. I gotta fight Revolver on Salah. I should have saved beforehand. Am I too oh, late? well. It's okay if I die. I don't mind dying. I just don't want to get caught. He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No. No, don't touch it. C4. Oh shit, Revolver Ocelot! First time meeting the gunslinger. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. So now cool. we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. 
Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Draw! Reload faster by double pressing um, R1. The smart tech is to just run around in circles and wait until he runs out of bullets. I love to reload very fast. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming a long silver bullet into a well. And then try to shoot him when he's recharged, reloading. I'm alive. Let's go. But yeah, this is just running around in a circle. I missed my shot there. Respawn. Tell you so.
dead. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! <laughs> my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha. Huh. You're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I uh, can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. <laughs> Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No. Not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No. That woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier? It must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... I forgot! Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. 
If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you could see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. <laughs> muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's Metal why Gear. we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. Ooh, no one can war crimes. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight. Heart liberals! <laughs> you the way said they should. <laughs> Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Come here, grunts again, Lofa! This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected <laughs> from this exercise. Don't play dumb. He's not playing. I know you were sent to this. <laughs> I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. <laughs> they don't know this disc exists. Snake is the Make best. Make sure you report this <laughs> to He's the absolute best. <laughs> your boss. I'll give you my card too. He's It'll so open stupid. Up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Sprinkling, Naomi, sprinkling, you got to stop them. foreshadowing In the future. The public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no! Oh, no, it can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went in, did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for...
Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Level up! Give me the cane! I want to use this pimp cane! Ah, I guess I'm... I love that the dude's like, here, this is what you came for. Like, he was so certain that they sent Snake for this fucking little mini disc thing. And Snake's like, well, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and then he goes, it's the disk drive with all the data on it. And Snake's like, what data? <laughs> like, he's just fucking like some pothead or something. He doesn't even know what's going on. He's like, what? what? <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and yet, he's the whatever his name is, Baker, he somehow still thinks that Snake knows what he's doing. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, dude. <laughs> Like, he has no idea. Shit. Fucking super pack, man. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a small break here. I want to go get a smoke, a cigarette, and I want to um, find Meryl's number. We got to find Meryl's phone number. Uh, so we will be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with more show.
Give me a second when I find Marrow's uh, codec. That is the first thing I gotta do. 140.15, I should have remembered that. Now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now the terrorists have both detonation codes. The only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Mero's holding or, or find the Metal Gear Chief Engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Mero by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? Oh, that's that's really funny, dude. No, it really is actually. That's that's some really genius shit, Kojima. We love you for that. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't no believe match. that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay, you see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Women, well, have... women have more hiding places than men. <laughs> anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. 
So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Ah. Ooh. What's the Tell best him, way Snake. to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. Oh, shit. Heartfelt time. I don't time. know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell, Stay out, of the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. I don't have a box. I have nades though. That's what I'm gonna need for the next fight. So pretty much the only thing I could do now is wait. Oh wait, are we fucking clear? Are we clear? Are we clear? No, we're not clear. We're not clear, there's a guard down there. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. And I didn't save, did I? God fucking damn it. Alright, we're gonna restart. I don't know when was the last time I saved. You just have to wait it out here for Mero to, to send a message. I hit in the wrong spot. It's been 20 years, guys. You gotta give me give me some credit here. Cell, when was the last time I saved? Oh. Where am I? That is a long time ago. Looks like we're fighting Ocelot again. Fuck it. <laughs> All right. That's what my dumbass gets. 
I can't believe I didn't save that whole time. I must have been enjoying myself too much. I'm so stupid. Oh, I don't even have the C4. Didn't I just get some C4? I can't believe I didn't save after all of that nonsense. Oh, I feel so stupid right now. Fucking owned. It's fine, I'll fight Ocelot again, no big deal. I mean, what else am I gonna do? Could I have been so stupid not to fucking say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so stupid of me. I apologize. Because we gotta do this again. Yeah, I feel like one.
I looked away for like a split second. Fucking serious? Wait a minute. 
Finally! How on earth did I forget to save? Like, I can't believe how absent-minded. It's the old age! It's the old age! That's what it's gotta be. I'm just old. I can't believe it. I'm so, like, mad at myself right now. There. Yada, yada, yada. We saw that already. Do all the action now. In other words, that wasn't too bad. What was that? Ten, maybe twenty minutes. You mean? Me. Oh my God! Shut up! We saw this whole. <coughs> you know that's what it was. That's why I forgot to save. This shit took so goddamn long. That was like a fucking hour of just chit chat. And then I saw Mei Ling, which probably made me think I fucking talked to her already. Snake, you can't use your Oh, and she told me I couldn't use my radar. Right, right. That explains it. Be careful. Alright, whatever. <clears throat> That's out of the way. This part's super easy. And since I'm skipping all the fucking cutscenes, we'll get there right away. I've seen they got that TV show for Frogger coming out soon. Ain't that some shit? They're actually making a TV show out of Frogger. Well, you know what? That was a good fight anyway, so whatever. What is it, Snake? I really needed a cigarette. That's what caused the fucking error. Alright, whatever. We already saw this. Yada 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 So that's three that's three resets so far. We already saw this, so I don't care. Heart attack, Dr. Emmerich, second floor basement. You gotta open the door for me, so I gotta wait for you to do that. Yes, you never had problems shooting, but then you learned how to shoot because I forced you to. Ha 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 ha. Yep, totally. Whoops, she needs more time. Okay, whatever. I'll hide here this time. First, give me that. Really wish I had my box. Let's just YOLO, my dude. 
Open the door! Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. You just told me that, lady. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. What's up, Snake? I may as well get in the habit of saving all the time. That's what's up. Snake, in China, they say, you must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad bread. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy. Build a bridge, anyway. Um, if you don't want to get the thermal goggles, you can actually use uh, cigarette, your cigarette smoke to find where the, where the things are. Deep throat. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Fucking Debbie does Dallas. Fucking... I'm afraid to walk in here uh, because, like he said, there's mines. And I don't have a mine detector. So we're going to crawl. Uh, because when you crawl, you can pick up the mines. So it doesn't matter. You're not going to explode. See?
I wish that were true in IRL, but I don't think it is. Okay, so now we're gonna need... I have nades, I have chef. I only have one fucking ration? Son of a bitch. I mean, I don't need that, but... Okay, there. So now I don't need to you. I don't. All right. Yeah, you know, you know what, you know what I mean. I could have used the gun if I was doing a a kill run because having the so come with a silencer is ridiculously good in this game. This is Raven's territory. Quote the Raven. Never more. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Feel free to say whatever's on your mind. You can call me a bitch if you want. To. <laughs> should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. I don't really care. Come. I'm just playing a game I've been playing since I was a child, you know? Okay, so Shaf. We're jamming. And then he can't throw the big ones at you. So you can run around and get all the stuffs. Where is he? Oh, there he is. And then once you get in close, just switch to the nades. It doesn't matter if they're running over. It doesn't... You don't die. You just don't want to be in the way of that... That big motherfucker, that's all. The big gun hurts like hell. They just keep tossing maids at him. Again, I had to kill that guy. I didn't want to. See how you like this. Yeah, whatever. You're the same thing as that other dude. Oh, got him right in the hole. And that's it. I just played this game a lot when I was a kid. <laughs> That's all it is. You're probably like, you makes it look so weird. I, I played it a lot when I was younger. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. You got the car. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In, in battle, battle, he is, he is possessed, as by a demon. possessed by a demon. Much I love that like line. you, I would expect no less. See, I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear you took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. So, the robot also lots of name is Ivan. Interesting. I didn't know that. It is known as an animal to be feared. Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood.
There's a ration over here. This is a part where you can't use your, I should say, <laughs> you can't use your weapons because there's nuclear warheads or whatever. And uh, in Metal Gear Solid 4, you return to, to Shadow Moses. And like the first thing they tell you is that you can use guns there. And I remember the first time I played it, I just took out the fucking M4 and started shooting like crazy. <laughs> it was so relieving. It was so nice. It also makes it easy for us to see everything that you're doing. You're watching everything? Of course. If you were my boyfriend, you'd never be able to cheat on me. Being monitored 24 hours a day, that'd be like hell. Don't think of it like that. At least you'd never get lost. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Right, so now they're going to tell you that you can't use guns in here. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. All right, so what the fuck? That guy was getting too close for comfort. Gotta get up to the, the elevator there you see to the left. So a la madre, vámonos. Turn around, you fucker. No, 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 Fuck! Alright, we're resetting. Good thing I saved. I think I have to hide in between the nuclear warheads. I think that's what I forgot to do. I don't want to be seen. I don't like that sound. We're going to have to do a recon of the area first. So we're going to get down here and look. Try to not be near that. That guy goes over there. Okay. That shit kills me. That's what kills me be right careful. there. You absolutely must. We're going 
going back in there. Where's the other guy? Is there two guys or three? I think there's three. Where'd that other guy go? Okay, he's coming back around. So when he hits that spot over there, I'm gonna try to run it. And then I'm gonna hide in between the nukes until he turns around again. I feel like I could maybe hide. No. Here maybe? Until he goes back around. In the meantime, I'll check to see where this guy is going. Shit, now oh, there's another guy. That should make it so that this guy is about to go that way. Don't turn around, you fucker. Yes. Come on, come on, I don't have your time, fucking elevator. Yee! That's how you do that. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm going to die playing this shit, I swear. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> Snake, have you ever heard the saying, friendly counsel cuts off many foes? It means that a little bit of advice from friends can save you a lot of trouble. You should think about it. If you're in trouble or if you need some information about something, please contact Colonel Campbell or someone else, okay? Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> There's stuff in here that I want. It's the only reason I'm coming in here. But I don't want to alert that person. So I'm going to fucking play Ring Around the Rosie with them. Shit, there's another person now. All right, I'll see you later, guys. I don't want that shit that bad. One of them is, of course, Meryl. At least they got some stun grenades. I need the Nikita missile for this. But I did have to make this cutscene start up. So we'll wait it out. I also need a gas mask. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. For sure, for sure. Whatever you say. Alright, so now we gotta go down here. Thank you for watching, by the way. I appreciate it.
the Nikita missile, I believe, is in basement one. And also, I believe this is where you run into Meryl. Well, that person's taking a whiz. Alright. Different strat this time. We're gonna crawl down the middle. Oh, nothing's opening. Right, so you ask him, she's like, what? Deep throat, somewhere in the pace. Yada, yada, yada. Deep throat? No, I, I don't know anyone who calls himself that. I see. I wonder why he's trying to help you. I have no idea. A trap? Could be, but for the time being, I'll have to trust him. Where are the remote controlled missiles? I think the remote controlled missiles are on the first floor basement of the Warhead storage building. That's where I am. I think the remote can. Okay. So I'm in the right place. I just gotta not be spotted here. So it's this one, right? Okay. It's that one. Restart it. I don't remember where I saved it. Give me some slack, I haven't played this game in years. Do I gotta do something again? Yeah, I do. I'm in the fucking... Oh, okay. I'm good. But I gotta go see the fucking thing and cause that cutscene. So skip that. Alright, let's go back. The issue is that that other guard's going to come soon. Alright, I'm in! Sweet! That worked. That other guard's coming soon! I'm afraid of the other guard! Hiding under the fucking bed!
I'm gone, I did it. All right. gas mask do I? I'm just gonna have to do this without a gas mask. All right. Little flying penis missile! Reach the egg! It's okay, nobody heard of that. Give me all your stuff, so I'm gonna need it. Oh shit, my fucking breath is. Gas mask, all right. The game shall provide. care about that other the other stuff some type of blade. In 1998, this game was released. Certified classic. Everybody agrees at this point. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. 
You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only a back in my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. This fight's a little tough, so I'm going to save now. Snake, you can't use your radar. It's confused by all of the radio interference. That ninja is giving off some kind of electrical energy. Super Saiyan! So the thing about this fight is you can't use your weapons, so it's best to just punch and kick them. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. If you try to shoot him, his gun just his sword gets rid of all the I just did that because it looks cool. Footsies! There's a ration here, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, you could use chaff grenades. I forgot about that. That's 69! And it misses with like his wiring. And then you can just hit him. But when you do that, you gotta do the one punch tech. With that. Because he takes a knee right away and moves bullshit. It's not really worth it. Just fight him hand to hand. When he does that, punish him if you're close enough. Shit, I know where you are, the game just told me. Of 
course, after that, he starts to hide oh, in different places. It looks like he's over here. Good tech there. Now I don't know where he is, so we're going to switch to the gas. To see him better. Where is he? Alright, now he does the thing where like he fucking instant transmissions after your first hit, so you gotta get out of the way. But then he's like wide open. So you just gotta bait that out and then punish. So it's going crazy, so you gotta watch out for that. Yeah. I always like to shoot him here. Of course you don't have to, but I thought it added to it. Zanzibar. What? Not again. Stop, Bene, eh, tu? What's happening? I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Thank you for calling me God Corleone. Dr. 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 Clark. Yes. Quite the esteem. He I just watched the, the Godfathers. Project. Absolutely love them. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And I think Godfather 2 thoughts. was the best. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. 
But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? Very bad. No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launch that thing... <sighs> Damn. Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault.
The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry. I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Let me just touch the bones in my ear. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look Ooh, after him. Where thing. are you now? Very ah, close. I... There she is. Oh no! Damn, they spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Oh, I haven't fought Psycho Mantis in so long. Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Oh shit, is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. God, I love this glad you're so okay. Much. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. You and Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan. <laughs> me too, though. It's all good. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. I just can't help it. <laughs> still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons. That's what all scientists say. 
I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. <laughs> he just keeps it's dropping true. Japanese animes and robots. It just shit. sounds like a childish excuse to me. Man, go out of con. It's like this whole game is super duper bleak and you're right. You have to take <laughs> and all like Science Japanese anime. The greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by I scientists who wanted to be famous. Oh, I love <laughs> That's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Peace out, homie. That's the homie right there. That's the big homie. Oh god, this game is so good. Is there anything around here? I don't seem to recall if there is. It's just like the contrast of everybody dying and all these big fights. And then Hadakan's like, but Mecca's in Mecca's Japanese an anime. Saint. It's like a scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Kodak system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. But he was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stopped making things. I don't know. I feel so bad for Mei Ling and Alakan at this moment. Like, they're just nerds, you know? But like that, that's true, that's the way life works, you know? You're just, you're trying to do your thing and then life happens. So it has been, so it always shall be. There's a lot of us on this earth. It's never just one of, you know what I mean? I want to call Otacon. You still haven't found Meryl? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? Bro, I just wanted to add you to my index or whatever the fuck. I know where Meryl's at. She's in the fucking potty. But not yet. You gotta give it a while. Shit. One of these guards is Meryl, but I don't want them to see me. I want them to just leave. Perfect. That works. That works. That wasn't a real alert. I'm counting it. I'm fucking counting it. Freeze. Don't move. Oh, that's what you said. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. We'll go get some water during this cutscene. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. 
I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. Hats off. It's like my 30th time playing it, and it's still so good. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's you can all see a nipple! <laughs> I never noticed that! Launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear, or... <clears throat> we override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Oh, Got so good. Oh, I'll be video careful. Game warrior, so good. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I wanna know who I am, what I'm capable of, I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important.
Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? It's a good thing you hooked up with Meryl. You should have seen the Colonel. He doesn't like to let it show because he's the boss, but he was so happy he could barely contain himself. I'm glad to hear that. Talk to you later, Snake. What's with the music change, video game? What are you doing to me? My head! Oh, it hurts! What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake! Are you okay? Uh, right this uh, way, Snake. What happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! So good! Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Ah, oh, I messed up the line. Yeah, whatever. It's been 20 years. and kick. Got it. <laughs> Useless woman. Hey, fuck you. Up to camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You... You doubt my power. Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psycho Mantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. 42069. Perhaps I should say. Well suited to this stealth mission. 
You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Your memory is completely clean. Hmm. You have saved often. You are a prudent person. It's because I'm resetting psychomantis. I can read you like an open book. A demonstration is over. Video! Kojima, the legendary director of this legendary game and legendary franchise. Konami, please. So I'm going to just run around and call Campbell until he comes up with the idea. Because it doesn't matter right now. Psychic. He has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer. He got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. So right now, like, even if I were to shoot at him, it's not going to work because he's using his psychic powers. See? I can't hit him. So right now it's basically just survival mode. Because it's Psycho Mantis. But I still I wanna show him off because this game is so fucking legendary and I don't know if you've ever watched it before. But yeah, he dodges everything at this moment in time. So I'm gonna keep calling Colonel until he tells me what to do. <clears throat> so we could get more of the story. His spirit is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank slate, okay? Clear your mind. He read your mind with his psychic abilities. Somehow you've got to get around him. This, I almost beat my pants as a kid <laughs> because of this, this this game and this boss battle particularly. Oh, I played it so much. Also because it was difficult to um. To be. He's using his psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's how he's evading your attack. You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think. There must be some way. Fourth wall officially broken. Kojima said the video game knows you're playing. You know it's a video game. I was able to hit him with one shot that time. Snake, I got it! I got it! Use the controller port. Plug your controller into controller port 2. If you do that, he won't be able to read your mind. I don't know if I can, because I'm using a very special... Uh... Use the 
controller port. Plug your controller into controller port 2. If you do that, he won't be able to read your mind. I got a, um, um, yeah, I'm using an emulator. Give me a second, guys. Shoot this fucker now. I'm having issues. Give me a second here. Controller 2 keeps switching. I think I did it wrong. Let's try it again. Okay, now we're good. And he cannot sense me now. Alright. Now we can play the game. Sony, please don't sue me. I have the game on PS1 and I'll delete it after I'm done with it today.
<laughs> Abre os legs, né? Juro o This motherfucker's not bad, eh? Juro o troco! Shoot, I'm on out. Is he gonna stop doing that ever, or is that just his thing now? That's just his thing now, okay. Switching. Fucking oil! How is he not dead yet? Brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. He makes his he own. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. <sighs> to get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, <sighs> you have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the the overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers and use the tower's walkway. 
Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that kind of man ain't there. Was man, too. Stuck man, kind of the same single object of obsession. He's kind of dying. You just call him. I mean, just an atavistic desire to kind of fucked up. One seed it was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. You ain't wrong, Designed buddy. Designed that way. Yep. And that's why there is war. But you. Really you different. are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Merrill's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. Nice. Kind of. Nice. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. 
You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. Ooh, Snake is so cold! He's so cold with it, man! He's so cold. Plug controller port into port one. Oh, Code Jimbo. You genius, you. Legendary game. You know what I should do? I should save. The tongues of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Snake, people don't normally lie with their dying breath. I think he was telling the truth. Maybe you should believe him. I think the thing about Psycho Mantis is that even if he was telling the truth, his dad is still his dad. And of course his dad was going to hold resentment for him because his mother died giving birth to him. But it doesn't mean that he was going to kill you. You know what I mean? Like, I'll even take it a step further and say humans say fucked up things all the time doesn't mean they mean them it doesn't mean they feel some sort of way about you it's just humans think and say shit all the time and if you let that shit get to you you end up like psychomantis you know what i mean there's no there's no need to let that shit get to you just human beings being human That's please it. nick don't give up You don't want to end up like Psycho Mantis killing your daddy and the whole village and fucking dying a death when Snake kills you. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'm a masher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. I fucking... This is like the worst thing ever. Where'd you fucking go? Snake, you follow me. Check this shit out. Check this shit out right here. She fucking disappears, right? She's fucking gone, right? She's gone. There's a ration over here. She's gone. Right? There she is. How the fuck was I supposed to follow her? She just gone? I hated that shit growing up. Like, damn, I, I want to follow you. I'm not going to kill the doggo. I can kill the doggos. Last of Us 2 is not the first game that lets you kill doggos. I just don't want to. I don't want to carry a doggo. I'm just gonna run. I don't know what way to go. 
Damn it, doggos. Be nice to me. I don't want to kill you. Those don't count as alerts. Doggos, come on. Be nice. Be nice. I don't want to fight you, doggo. Don't stop it. You're fucking eating me? All right, call bullshit now. Don't eat me, bro. At least wait until I'm dead before you fucking start eating me. This is the part two when you see Mero. Look at Mero, look at Mero. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. So the dogs love you, Mero. That's that's great. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's go. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! Oh shit! Look at Mero go! What a beast! So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? Well, yeah, here's the thing, girl. Um, like, I'm only going to do this because I respect you, but I don't technically have to do that. I could just, I could just fucking crawl and pick up the claymores and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not to discredit you or nothing. You know, I'm on the fucking floor here, you know, so that you see how fucking great you are. But like, you know, uh, I didn't I didn't need you to do that. And I don't want to lie to you and make you like, you know, I don't want to fucking patronize you. Anyway. Still sad. I, I, I 
can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Now get out of here. Meryl! Damn! Snake, it's a trap. The sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. All right, uh, Otacon, what do you got for me? Otacon, have you ever seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base? A sniper rifle? Meryl's been shot by an extremely good sniper. Sniper? A high-quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back. I, uh, I saw a PSG-1 in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. The second floor basement of the tank hangar? I have to go all the way back there? Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? Uh, nothing. Woo! So we're going to save and take another break here. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Aren't you going to save her? She's just bait. It's me they want. If I step out there, I'm gonna get picked off, and who's gonna save Meryl then? I'm hoping that as long as I don't fall for it, they'll leave Meryl alive. So you're just going to leave Meryl there? She's hurt! I know what I'm doing. Meryl understands too. That's horrible. You're right, it is horrible. But that's war, and the first rule of war is to stay alive. All right, so we'll be right back. Enjoy jamming out to the classic Metal Gear song. Uh, I'll be back in a bit.
All right, we're back. Now comes the the tough part. I don't know if I saved yet. Let's save again. You caught Snake? In China, they say rashness brings success to few, misfortune to many. Snake, go forward when it's safe, but retreat when there's danger. You'll just have to play it by ear, depending on the circumstances. All right. Now we have to run all the way back. The guards are still going to be there. So we are going to continually, constantly save. And uh, get that weapon. There's probably a time skip around here or something. Uh, but I don't know it. I have enough. So we're just going to do it the old fashioned way. Nope. Don't, don't fight. I don't want to fight you, doggo. Damn it. Stop it. That seemed much tougher when I was a kid. Uh, this door? Okay, we gotta go all the way back. That guy's still pissing. He's been pissing for hours. Must have had some like alcohol or something. He's really going to town on that pee. We got Mexico cabrones. All right. Anyway, um, let's save. Just in case I get caught. What's up, Snake? For the restart. It is the strong swimmer who most often drowns. It is because the strong swimmer overestimates his abilities and underestimates the strength of the river. You are Wise. probably quite used to the mission now, but don't get careless. You're very wise. Okay, so there's a guy right there. Eee, don't see me. I'm gonna wait for him to go back around. Eee, don't see me. No, 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 no. I just wanna stay here because he's gonna come back looking that way and he maybe will see me. So don't. I don't want any trip. I don't wanna trigger any alarms. Okay. All right. There's another guy, but he's at the top. So I'm just gonna go. All right. Got past that part easy. All right. That's how I want the rest of this run to go. Do I have chaff grenades? It's fine, that's not an actual alert. Okay, that sucked. Okay, that also sucked. Shit. Don't wanna blow up again and I wanna get the ration that's over here. So I'm gonna crawl. If there is still a ration over here. 
There is not. Okay. Another shaft grenade. We're gonna hug this wall. I think I'm safe from the bombs if I hug this wall. Yeah, I just remember. Nope! <laughs> I was about to pat myself on the back like, yeah, that's the strategy. Nope. Things still on? No. Okay, good. I don't see any guards. Good. Smooth. Smooth. Guards. A lot of guards. guards. A lot of fucking guards. Okay. This is where the gun is. Thermal goggles. Down we go. Okay, that's just for my bullets. That's not what I want. Kinda scared right now. Going to hide in here. Metal Gear Solid 1, ladies and gentlemen. Going to get whatever I can in here. Regroup for a bit, look at the Soliton radar, and decide when to move. <sighs> Shit, where are they going? Okay. Just grenades. Okay. Does that guy come down or is he just guarding that specific door? Looks like he's just guarding that specific door. Does he just turn back around? Shit. And then he turns around. turn around so he may see me when he turns now oh god he didn't hear the door he didn't hear it what's up snake there's a chinese proverb the mind cannot be in two places at once. Make sure that you're not thinking of something else during the mission, okay? This is really tough. I used to hate doing this. Oh God. One. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. What's up, Snake? Gather ye 
rosebuds while you may. All the time is still a flying. And this same flower that smiles today, tomorrow will be dying. Snake laughter is the best medicine. You should be happy you've got enough free time to play a game. Enjoy yourself, okay? That's true, Marlene. You're right. Good break of the fourth wall. What's this fucker doing? What's this fucker doing over here? What's this fucker doing? What's this fucker doing? I don't like it. What the fuck? Okay, alright, I'll go around. Sure, no problem. Go left. Okay. Go down. Go down. Thank you. Uh, hurry up, 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 hurry up. Hurry up! Fuck, that was close. All right. can save and then tell me an anecdote. In Paradise Lost, Milton wrote, solitude sometimes is best society, and short retirement urges sweet return. Is that why you came back, Snake? You got tired of your short retirement in Alaska, huh? Fuck, now there's persons here. I'm gonna fucking savage it and YOLO right the fuck through. Yep. All right. Hey, I don't know, wild, wild idea. How about a ration? Those animals kind of went to town on me. How about a ration? How about a ration? How about a ration? You don't want to give me a ration, eh? Well, at least I didn't blow up. How about a ration? We'll crawl it all the way just to be sure because I'm fucking... I'm near death. The only thing about it is when the... When we get near these things, because they'll shoot me, so I got to play it tight. Are we almost at the door? There was no rations. There should be one over here, up the stairs. All right. Is there one here? No. Okay. Again, let's try not to be seen and let's save. Snake. The proud man does not eat rotting meat even when hungry, nor steal water from another's well when he thirsts. 
But on the other hand, you were forced to steal or find every item you've got, so I guess I shouldn't say that. Okay, so how the hell do I do this again? I wait for this guy to turn up there. Oh, this looks a little weird now, because now you got that guy over there. Okay, all right, all right. He turned up, so I go this way. And now this guy. Ooh, I can do it right now. No, I cannot. No, I cannot. What was that noise? Ooh, fuck! Fuck it, wild goose chase it is! Oh my fucking god! Alright, I pulled that off. <laughs> wild goose chase that. Strats, are you gone yet? All right. We got a new follow. Thank you for uh, for following Biohazard uh, 2010. Thank you for the follow. This is is this where I'm supposed to be? No. If you're following for the MGS1, I'm going to try to beat it today. But maybe I'll be playing again tonight. We'll see how that goes. Here's where I'm supposed to be. There should be another ration right before I go outside to fight Sniper Wolf. Like right after this fight, there's a ration. So that'll give me two rations, which hopefully is enough to beat Sniper Wolf. Right here. And then I go this way. Can I shoot this fucker? I mean, I can, but I don't want to waste that bullet. I can't shoot with any other gun? Okay. I have two rations. Let's try to run it. Ah! No, doggo! Come on, guys! I don't want to fight you! Okay, then. That should just about do it, right? Yeah, that did it. Oh, look at the little baby one! Let me pet the doggo! In newer games, you can pet the doggo. Alright. So before we do this, let's save with Mei Ling. Did the whole thing without being seen. Is everything alright, Snake? No, fucking... What's her face just disappeared. Everything is not alright. Win, Snake, win! Thank you, thank you. Okay. Frick. Give me that. Do I have a ration over there? No. Okay.
Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Gotcha. All right. Now the thing is, there is cameras around here. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the shaft grenade. Oh, it's not going to matter. They must not be here yet. I believe there's a ration over here. Why am I getting that ration? If anybody knows the game, you know that a cutscene is about to trigger and it's not going to matter. Um, but I could use it later, I guess, once I get my stuff back. She's not here anymore, but I'll take her bullets. See, she was bleeding out, right? And then... Ambush! Don't move! It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. You are a fool to come back here. Stupid man. I want another banana. Sniper, huh? Mm, didn't you know that two thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. Oh, you're my special prey. Got it. Oh, I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you. You're all I think about. Down goes snake. Take them away. Take them away. Take them away, toys. <laughs> you mean take them away, boys? Yeah, that's what I said. Don't kill me yet. I'm a man. Leave it to me. I want no more experts like that. Don't. Yes, he's my target. My mind. I should have saved. <laughs> I may have to fight her again. Okay, so there's a lot of techniques for this part. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? He's tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man who stole what was rightly mine. I find the, the best thing to do... It's to rest the controller on your knee and uh, just press circle me. I'm the really fast. You <laughs> good from. Using your pointing finger. After the sacrifice of our brothers, after You'll see what I mean. long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. There's going to be some talking, but yeah, basically, you don't want to... Do you need his DNA too? Yes. You don't want to lift your finger too much still from the... We need it to correct the genome... The control, like you want to keep it down then we'll be here. Then we'll them. No. And, uh... We still have to get If timed correctly, bosses you should be able to... To pass the torture without... Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They uh, won't give in. They're all hypocrites. Without Every giving up. One of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? 
They always would bully. But I don't know if my reflexes are what they used to be. That's it's been a long time. They want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. And of course, for those that know Metal Gear Solid, know that um, different there definitely is a endings happen you think depending you on whether you give in to the torture or, or not. Should I say, Big Brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both. And the yeah, there's a technique with the spoon a big boss. that I never used, but there is a technique with a spoon. It's me. Back in the day when this <laughs> game came out, there this was. <laughs> This was the discussion on the message boards. All right, Raven. How do you get past the fucking torture scene without giving up? <clears throat> Everybody was posting what they did. We launched the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans! Looks like you read them wrong. And the craziest one I read was a spoon. Something about using a spoon and moving it back and forth. Think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? Going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? I what just used my right show? hand and my I'm not my pointing finger. It's time to <clears throat> the family. So you prefer your wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Also, you don't want to stop pressing a circle. As you, you you'll wish. see. See you later. There's a part where you think you're supposed to stop pressing a circle. Don't. All right, well, mash time. Time to fucking mash. Boobs. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later, handsome. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. We could make it if feeling? we try. Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. I'm glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? <clears throat> so, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? I kind of got oh, the no. jitters. I haven't done this in By so long. Way, kinda like, you got an optical disc uh, President Baker, didn't you? Can I still do it? Didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, it's fine. I'm okay with dying. I just, I don't want to give it's in to the torture. Okay. She's not dead. So hopefully I get this on first try. Wolf must have been but feeling generous. But I don't know. to stay that way. You better start answering my questions right now. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a present said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem, then. We're going to play a game, Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear. Just give up, and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Press the circle button blazer. repeatedly We've been to gain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. No submitting. When your life reaches zero, the game is yeah, over. Just keep it, there are no continues, keep it close. my friend. Don't even think about using auto fire, or I'll know. I gotta like 
I'm going to run a high voltage. Stretch my hands. <laughs> it's been it's a while. Just for a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. So you see there, you want to keep pressing it. You like that? Shall we go again? Even after. That's about yet. right. We're not finished yet. I feel like I need a little more. Let me go on. Can you take one more? You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother, he's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? The Les Enfanteries project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. So yeah, that's how you do that. <laughs> Hands a little sore, but it's all right. It's tougher on hard, but it was smart of me to put it Looks on. Looks like I got a roommate. The DARPA chief. Nothing you can do here. I like to call Otacon. Otacon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask, what should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Let's save with Meryl. Mayling, I mean. Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. <sighs> I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. It's always nice to hear that you're alright. Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Please, Nick, don't give up. Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up! I'm practicing my karate! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Ha <laughs> ha 
Otacon. I'm headed your way now. Can't you just relax? I am relaxed. I just don't know how to kill time here. Okay. I'll be there as soon as I can. Take back the dead body, I guess? Try to punch it? Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up! Snake, are you okay? No. I've been better. How's Mera? They've got her. Damn. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation, and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. You're lying, I Colonel. I believe you. You're a lying if liar. The situation is so serious. Why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. Yeah, hell! I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines... Nanomachines! Did the Chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that Arms Tech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. Nah, just one got it those keys? Me. I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. Yeah, Sorry, I got it. Don't lay it all in your lap. But you're all I've got. Bust out of here and get to the communications tower. Also, what? I know it's asking a lot. Save Meryl, Meryl, right? right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'll save her. <coughs> Thanks. Damn, you act like that's your daughter or something. Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> Stop sneezing and stay six feet away. Is that Johnny again? That's probably Johnny again. Mugen, I miss Mugen. Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> Karate! Shut up! I'm gonna try to stay in these four squares. Fuck. Snake, 
It's showtime. Oh, we gotta do that shit again? Alright. This time you're gonna see the pain in my face. Fucking Otacon, I wanted him to show up so I didn't have to do this shit again. Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. What a Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashashka. I was trained by the Russian group. I am not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniform fools. Well, shall we begin? Okay, here we go. How did you like that? Shall we go again? <laughs> I look funny as fuck. That enough yet? We're not finished yet. Me to go on. No, but you're going to do anyway. Can you fucking... take one more? You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now. <laughs> We live in a sad age. Sad. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn. To lead a brave new world order. New, new, new world order. Alright, that's twice, Otacon. If you fucking make me do that shit again, I don't even know what I'm gonna show next time. My boobs or something? I don't have boobs. My pectorals? That's the word. Pectorals. Why don't you contact the colonel? If anyone can. Because I'm gonna wait for Otacon to bring me the ketchup and then I'm gonna pretend I'm dead. Please, Austin 316 don't give says I'll just whoop your ass. Uh, let's see. Okay, Snake. No, my arm hurts. Yeah, nothing new to report. Oh, uh, this Snake, is when Naomi does the thing with do? the vibrating. Yeah. With the PS1, and you Poor put the Snake. control right here, the and it makes it feel better. Blood. Okay. Fuck! I wish I had the PS1 three. just so I could that get stuff that. Makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. 
Tell me about yourself. Myself? <laughs> That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. I killed him. my own hand. Tattlesnake! Big boss. What? Big boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? He wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's patricide. Yep. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. And Alaska was the perfect place. Oh, Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Fox. Oh, Great Fox. Anger. I learned a lot from him. There's so much but here. Didn't you try to kill each other? Konami, please. That's There's true. so much we did here. In Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unreal. It's probably it probably won't make enough money. The next money. time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. <clears throat> we were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I want to play that. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Like, of everything that they mention in the lore... Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Everything that they just talked about happened in the Nintendo games. It happened in the Nintendo, in Metal Gear 1, and technically in Metal Gear 2. On the Nintendo, the game that Snake kills Big Boss in, his father, is on the Nintendo. The game that Snake fights Frank Yeager in a minefield is on the Nintendo. Remaster. But I guess it won't make enough money because they, they just don't want to make it. 
But like seriously, remaster. I've played them on the Nintendo. They were all right, I guess. But I feel like anybody who's a fan of the series, we want those games remastered. And we want a game about the boss. Your big boss reached a level higher than the boss, but we still want a game about the boss. There's so much lore. There's so much lore. Please, Nick, don't give up. But I guess Konami just figures there's no real, you know, like there's a new generation of gamers now. And nobody cares about Metal Gear Solid anymore. And that's just, that's what it is. You're so useless, Arkan. I'm here. Where? Love you, though, bro. It's me, Otacon. Wow, they even captured you. Hurry, get me out of here. Let me go. That hurts. Hurry up. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. That's what Snake Jeez. is thinking. Like, God, like you're an animal so cage. fucking useless. Oh, what a smell. <laughs> he just showed up to talk about the smell yeah, and shit. It's the Derpa chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I brought you some fucking ketchup, I, dude. I thought you might be hungry. <laughs> if you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Tell him, Adekhan. He did more than enough if you just use your brain, Snake. <gasps> oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. I just busted a nut. That's all you gotta do, Snake. What the hell? Do I have to kill this guy? I kind of feel like I should. Yeah, see, there's no way out of that alert. You pretty much have to. There's another way, but it still involves. I'm pretty sure it still involves you getting that alert. Good luck, Snake.
What can I do for you, Snake? In China, they say, once the fox gets his nose in, he'll soon find a way to make his body follow. That's a perfect description of you. You can do it, Snake, but you've got to be flexible. Adapt to each situation uniquely. You're not here anymore, right? fuck around and put more goddamn claymores so let's just go up the middle for the most part because there was no fucking uh what's it called ration so let's just go straight up the middle That's good that I didn't go searching for some, because I would have blown up. Do I go bring around the Rosie again? I mean, I don't want to. I'm always running into that fucking wall. I've been doing it since I was a fucking little kid. You would think I'd know the goddamn way through this place by now. 
But I do not. I always get caught. Always. Snake, there's a bomb planted in your items. Hurry, throw it away. Who the hell are you? One of them? You'll find out soon enough. Did I kill the doggy? No? Okay, good. That's good. That was a close one, Snake. Ocelot. You'll pay for that. That Deep Throat's a real enigma. He's definitely from inside their ranks. Is he an informer? Maybe some kind of renegade? Informer. I've got the feeling there's some other force at work here. It's a song by Snow. Just in case. she was prepared for this. No, you're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. It's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping. But I just couldn't listen anymore. Master. Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes, yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? Uh, New York, I think. Naomi. I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. I 
fucking knew it. You heard that? It was a fucking, fucking, fucking camera thingy. I knew there was a camera. I remember this game. I've played it before. A lot of times, actually. I'm just happy to enjoy it myself. <laughs> That's a joke about masturbation. Anyway, open your fucking door, you. Well, it would be time for the boba skip, which inspired this playthrough. Um, we're gonna save. But I'm not going to boba skip. You caught Snake? I'm just going to keep playing the game the way I want to play it because it's one of my favorites and He who is firm in will molds the world to himself. Don't forget what you're here to do. You've got to seize any opportunities that present themselves. But I guess I don't have to tell you that, do I? Watching her reminded me that I love this game and that I should play it. No, that was supposed to happen. The only thing I want to do here is throw stun grenades. I feel like that's the tech. Because I don't want to kill them. I just want to get to the top. I could check to see if it's possible to get through here with the shaft grenades, but I'm pretty sure it's impossible. If somebody in the chat wants me to give it a go, I can give it a go, but I'm pretty sure the shaft grenades don't work on that camera. So nobody cares in the chat that I got an alert here? Nobody cares? Alright, we're gonna keep playing then. I hope I didn't kill that guy. Fight the hindy. Uh, I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it. Before we fight the high DM, before we save, I'm gonna Google it. MGS1 must have alerts. Fuck. 
Three alerts and 19 kills are the minimum. So you get found four times. Where are they? I feel like you have to fucking get caught there. So I'm just gonna let it rock. And I'm gonna get and I'm gonna save. What's if up, that baby? fucked up my run, so be it. Get his nose in. Who's you already told me that one. I don't even have the weapon needed to fight this motherfucker. You do have a rope. I should be able to use that rope I got. <laughs> what are you going to do? Take on a hind with your bare hands? <laughs> now you're mine! If I stay here, I'm finished. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I feel like that was done on purpose because of how funny it is. <laughs> Here's how to repel. Press the X button to jump away from the wall. While you're away... Yeah, I remember how to do it. I was already doing it.
Right, those guys. Do I have stun grenades? I'm all out. I have no choice. I gotta kill these guys. Why won't they die? I'll take that. One kill and then they run? Fine by me. Son of a bitch. I could just fucking muscle through maybe. Fucking snake it? I can't. I gotta kill these guys. They killed me. Because I tried to not kill them. Okay, so I gotta kill these guys. No big deal. They're going to come back. That's three more kills. How many have I killed so far? I lost count. <laughs> hey, I appropriately got the stinger launcher now. Sick. Conveniently, that's the word I should use. Conveniently got the stinger launcher. I wonder how many deaths this is. How many kills? I mean. If you're wondering why I'm running like this, force a habit. as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? 
Yeah, I was watching. I was writing. I think I've killed truck. eight so far. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working? Yeah, that's right. You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No, you're wrong. In, In the, the movies, movies, the hero, the hero always saves, saves the, the girl. girl. Oh, so good! Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever... loved someone? That's what you came to ask? No, I mean, I... I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you. Do you think love can bloom, even, even on, on a battlefield? battlefield? Yeah, I do. I think at any time, any place, people can fall in love with each other. But... If you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before, I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here, and then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. I wonder if there's a way to speed run this. Blacked a little while ago because they wanted the cutscene. Shit. You fucking scumbags. Do I have a shaft? Yeah, I do. I remember this. They just keep showing up. Are you ready now? 
my brother. Where are you? Who the hell are you? I'm you. I'm your shadow. What? Ask the father that you killed. I'll send you to hell to meet him. I don't remember this level that great. Kind of struggling a bit. I hit it! Oh right, it's gonna do that thing. Ah! 
gotta keep it in gotta know where it's at you know because you don't want it to jump up and then start shooting at you and you don't know where it is so even when it's beneath you keep it in the stinger missiles crosshairs you know That's what I get for talking shit. That's the streamer's bad luck. Looks like we're shooting the fair one now. We got about the same amount of life. <laughs> it happens. So the snakes. The fuck? Oh, he's gonna fucking do the thing. Oh god!
shit, I'm all out. This is proving to be tougher than I expected. I wonder how much of it is fatigue set setting in. What's up, Benny Port Rex? Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Yep, this is the. Well, not actually the OG. But yeah, about as close as it gets nowadays. Reading Court says that in, in, in terms of replay value, I can play this one non-stop. The rest are too convoluted. Um, I played this one in three non-stop. I didn't like two enough to play it as much. And I could play four non-stop. I liked five as well. Ground zeroes more than anything. But I do agree that the story's the story's got a little too convoluted there. I do agree with you there. Ben Corbeck said took a trip to Chicago land, gained 10 pounds. Yeah, the food here is scrumptious, absolutely scrumptious. Looks like he's setting up for the bomb. Should eat the food in Chicago, it's so delicious. Happy you were out here.
Hope you had fun. And I mean that sincerely. Betancourt Rex says I can never go back to eating regular pizza now. No, no, deep dishes. It's a gift from the heavens. Fuck, now I want some deep dish. Thanks, buddy. Now I want some deep dish. To be fair, I should want deep dish all the time. It's, it's delicious. to see you around, buddy, Port Rex. I hope you're living great. This is a fight! I need a sig, this shit's too intense. Calm your nerves, snake. Calm your nerves. Just a couple, just a couple. Smoke him if you got him. John McLean him!
Ben Kors Rex asks, are you playing this on PSN? Yes, I'm playing this on a totally legal PSN. No, I'm running it on an emulator, actually. I'm running it on a duck station. On a PC. It's on normal. I just needed to scratch the itch. I was watching uh, Boba Witch play it. And, uh... The memories, you know? I was like, damn, I want to play that game. So I have started playing it today. Basically, that's how that went down. Ben Corp Rex says Xmas 99, this game was it. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I didn't get it till much later. I think I traded it for one of the neighborhood kids. I traded Bushido Blade and another game for this game. Cause I just I really wanted to play this. But I did end up regretting trading Bushido Blade. Cause Bushido Blade was the fucking shit! So I ended up buying Bushido Blade again! <laughs> It was the fucking shit. But I mean, this game is this game, you know? Come on, that hit it! Yeah, the sequel kind of sucked. I mean, I liked it, but... Nah, it wasn't the same. Fast. We're gonna go take a piss break. We're back. But in court, Rex says, Bushido Blade, you took it back. Uh, no, I bought it. I bought it again. I didn't take it back. I had to buy it again. When it was cheaper, I bought it again.
surprised how hard this has been. There's no way. I may as well just let him kill me now. I would need like a legendary run. A perfect run. From here on out to somehow win this one. It feels over. It feels over. There's just no way. This kind of, this ruined my run right here. No. The fucking helicopter killed my run. I was having such a good run. Few restarts and then this just killed it.
What the fuck? I hit it. I hit that motherfucker. It's gonna eat this. It's gonna do that bullshit. Are you serious? It says I didn't hit it? Yeah, I was right. Rex is always a pleasure, boss man. Nice to see you as well. I feel like I got it now. A little tedious there, died a couple times, but feel good right now. Still got two rations.
Şimdi I think we did it, y'all. Woo, 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 woo. We did it. First boss I didn't beat in the first try, but still pretty good. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. I got some chaff grenades. I'm just gonna have to run through it. I gotta kill these guys, too. Go around Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade. Why didn't you get me one? I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out. It's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. 
When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Too late, Snake! Now die! No choice there either. You gotta kill him. Do I have any dice? No, I don't. Okay, well. Boom! I should save it. Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me, in the middle of this blizzard. It's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please! She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake. I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Where is she?
All right. Back to one kill. Uh, one boss, one kill right away. Ooh. Back to how I should be playing the game. Saladin. Saladin. Big boss. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean big boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer. I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. But I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? This fucking game! Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... she was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. A hero. Please set me free. Uh, 
Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She's part of me. Everyone's here now. Goodbye. Snake, you said that love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. Oh, we. Imagine if that was it, and I, I would have died. Oh God! Stop it! That's okay. One more for the road. Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not taking any fucking chances after that fucking slaughter a little while ago. So we beat the first disc in a sitting. Can I beat the second disc? Right now, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. I probably could. Finally got the cardboard box. God, I've been waiting. Whew. Give me everything you got. Am I going to... Oh, shit. Okay, see this? This is a problem. 
because I don't have any more freaking chaff grenades. In China, they say it's better to live ugly than to die beautiful. I think it's true. Once you're dead, you'll never have another chance to be happy. I can't understand people who want to die before their time. Please, Snake, promise me that you'll come back alive. But there's a way around it. Shit, I better not die here. Alright, so let me just insert this two right away. Konami, please don't fucking arrest me. I'll give you the twenty dollars. So we are now in disc two. What can I do for you, Snake? You can save. Don't forget to save your memories of me too. You can't save memories even on that system of yours. Memories are fragile things. After you reduce them to binary numbers and send them through the air, they're not memories anymore. I wouldn't be so sure of that. There's nothing my system can't do. Memories aren't just sounds and pictures. They exist somewhere between the sounds, between the pictures. I don't get it. Anything can be done digitally. If that's true, why don't you go ahead and try to save what I'm thinking right now? I can't save that type of thing. You have to put it into words at least. That's right. And that's what memories are. Wordless. I don't know about that. No matter how far data technology advances, you'll never be able to penetrate the human heart. You're wrong. It's just a matter of time. But first you have to try to understand human emotions, Mei Ling. And how do I do that? You have to allow yourself to fall in love with someone. I know I said I was going to beat the game today, and I'm so sorry I, I'm not going to be able to do that. I do have to work tomorrow night, which means I have to get my sleep schedule to a somewhat back to night shift. So that means I gotta end the stream now. I'm sorry. Uh, but that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Six hours stream. I had a lot of fun. And I had a lot of fun. I love that game. It's seriously one of my favorite games. Top five franchises ever for me. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know I did. And I'll see you tonight for some Street Fighter. And then um, maybe we'll try to finish this up tomorrow morning. I don't think it'll take me more than three hours now from where I'm at. So, because I think it's just like the Vulcan Raven fight. Well, first I got to get through this fucking blast furnace or whatever the fuck. I forgot. I think it's the Vulcan Raven fight. Is there anything else after that? And then you got to fucking turn on the card and shit. Which isn't difficult because there isn't that many guards in this area. There's almost none, actually. There's the Vulcan Raven fight, and then you do the key card, and then I think you fight Metal Gear. And then there's the ending sequence. And that's it. I think I remember it being 12 to 13 kills is all you really need to get. But it feels like it may be more. Because I, I've been killing quite a, a good amount. 
But I think I remember it being like 12 or 13 or something like that. But I may have been off. It may have been my, um, maybe that was part two. I, I don't remember. It's been so long. Um, I apologize if that fucked with anybody's speed run or anything like that. Uh, but that's it. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one. Peace out.